Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters, and debunkers. Being educated to be smart enough to see ourselves as apes that evolved on a spinning globe, whizzing around the sun at thousands of miles an hour, is not an education at all. It's a robbery. It's a robbery of our very constitution, our own discernment, the very thing that differentiates us from animals that don't have the intelligence to realize that when they look in a mirror they're seeing their own reflection. Instead they attack it, believing it to be another animal. Animals that do recognize their own reflection in a mirror are seen as being intelligent because we we understand that in order to recognize your own reflection in a mirror you have to recognize that you are an observer and so you make a difference to what you see you make a difference to the scene the scene changes because you are observing it this isn't something esoteric it's scientific it's a problem faced in physics it's called the observer effect it's known that simply observing a phenomenon necessarily changes the phenomenon because the instruments be it the eye or a camera or something else that is used alters the state of what's measured we can see here a convex lens on the left with parallel lines of light coming in and those lines of light are being changed into converging lines of light so the actual scene is being translated or converted by the convex lens and that's the same kind of lens that we have in cameras and we have those kinds of lenses in cameras because we want the images to be as close as possible as to what we see with our own lenses in our own eyes but of course what's happening is the actual scene these parallel lines of light are being changed into converging lines of light so the act of being an observer simply observing this phenomenon changes the phenomenon this is a scientific fact and this is why perspective is a real thing because you can see that's what's happening in the eyes this convergence on the other side when we look across a flat surface and what would be a flattish sky with clouds or whatever features going off in a parallel line to the surface what we see is convergence so this is what we recognize as distance the further we see the more everything appears to converge in the distance that's how a, a scene is translated in our eyes we know the scene isn't really doing that but our eyes see it that way here's a close-up of that yeah the parallel lines coming in and converging here's another example of a convex lens changing parallel lines of light into converging lines of light and then they diverge again so it's doing two things here it's changing that image it's changing the reality into something else and we know that if we uh, use a concave lens then that light diverges it goes outwards so the parallel lines of light now diverge instead of converging so if this was happening inside our eyes what we see would be very very different the horizon would actually expand but we would recognize it because that would be what we would have grown up with that's how we would have always interpreted everything we see and so we would recognize it but it turns out we use these kinds of lenses and this is easily seen in these kind of medical diagrams this is 
the, the lower one is showing an eye that doesn't work properly. So an eye that does work properly has a convex lens here, the light coming in, the scene is coming in, and it's uh, being turned into these converging lines, and then that image is processed. Uh, we can use this diagram of a CCTV setup as an analogy of what's actually going on when we make an observation. We have the cameras here taking in the scene. However the scene l is in actuality, it's going to be converted by these lenses into something else other than what the actual scene is. And then the information is sent down the wire to the processor or the brain which then converts it into an image that can be recognized on this screen. So these parts are all separate but they are connected and they are all used to convert the scene into an image that is recognizable. So we can consider that the cameras are the same as the human eye. The information is taken in through a convex lens, fed to the brain or the processor, which then converts that into an image that we can recognize and appears in our mind's eye. So let's try and break this down into a little bit more detail. Here we have a scene, the sun and the sea. And because we are seeing this scene through a convex lens as an observer, we see a sun that is close to the horizon. It gets distant, so because of these par parallel lines going through the lens and converging, the scene appears as it does so here with a low sun close to the horizon. So just a reminder of uh, what's going on there is this one, okay? The, le the light's coming through and the light is converging. That's what's happening in this. And then this, this scene here is created as an image in our mind's eye. If, however, we change the lens and we make it a concave lens. So that would give us this kind of effect here where the light from the scene coming in then diverges, goes outwards. Yeah. So by, if our eyes were observing this scene with a convex, I'm sorry, concave lens, then what we would see in our mind's eye would be very different we'd end up with a scene something like this where the gap between the horizon on the surface and the sun is much larger. So if this kind of lens was in a camera or our eyes the scene that we see is different. It comes out as a different picture and so the, the angle of elevation or altitude of the sun above the surface will be different when seen through this kind of lens compared to this kind of lens, which would change the scene back to this. Yeah? This is just simple science being applied to the observations. And this is how we know that perspective is essential in realizing as being very much a part of any observation we make and realizing that we as an observer are kind of like a third party observer of what's actually going on. And we know that the globe earth model has been constructed out of observations observations of the sun, the moon, and the stars. Each of those 
celestial object is observed as being at an, a certain angle above the horizon but it's all being done with convex lenses to create even if we use an optical instrument it's used a convex lens is used to create an image that we can recognize yeah so uh, if we had uh, concave lenses like this in our eyes and the scene looked uh, like like this then okay we we would recognize it as such we would recognize this gap as being distance it it and so all the instruments we would use like cameras and such would would have concave lenses instead to recreate the scenes in the way that we see them yeah it's just that's all we've got to keep in mind is that we just go back to this scientific fact the observer effect simply observing a phenomenon necessarily changes that phenomenon so what we see is recognizable but it's not what's actually happening we perspective is added to the mix by having the lines converge inside our eyes to tell us that we're looking across a flat surface not a globe yeah so the only way they can convince us we live on a globe and have us believe that sunrises and sunsets are because we're on a spinning globe it beca is because they took away our ability to recognize or didn't remind us that we are an observer and that's why perspective is the imaginary curve thank you very much Can you do it? Press the middle one. Huh? Okay. So inspector, let's get close. Just keep it. No, no, not too close. Just there. Shine yours. Just keep it straight in the middle. Right in the middle. It's keep turning off. Uh, is it working? Or is it weird? Yeah. Yeah.